Hello and welcome back. Um, this will be the third part of this um, video tutorial. And the last part we completed the top rated movies cards and the upcoming movies cards. So today I'm going to take some time to talk about um, the API we are going to be using. And that is coming from the TMDB API. So if you go to the moviedb.org, I'll leave a link in the description. This is the API we are going to be using. Um, I recently just watched the Transformers. Um, I don't know. It used to be my favorite movie, but I don't know what they're doing now. Anyway, I digress. Um, you can leave your comments about how, how you feel about the movie down there. All right. So basically, all you have to do is go ahead and join. Okay, it's a simple form you have to fill. Um, now, I have a login account already. I have an account here already. So I'm going to go ahead and then sign in and I'll get back to you. All right, so once you've created your account and you are signed in, you would see this page here. And what we actually want is um, the API docs, okay, and then the API key. So go to wherever you have your profile. So depending on your account, your Gmail account, you would see what's there. Click there, and then you go to settings. And in settings, what you want to do is go to API. Now over here, I'm not really going to hide my API key because just register and get your API key. There doesn't really any issue. It's free. And then this is your access token. Okay. Now what we also want to do is um, have a look at the documentation. So I would open this in a new tab. So just open this in a new tab. And yeah. So one thing I want to mention is um, I started working on this app and the uh, documentation was a little bit different and at a point i came back and they had changed everything like this is the new look so if you've worked with this before you'd realize this is totally different and a lot of things have changed now basically anything you're trying to learn is always good to look at the documentation because then it will show you how you have to do this and what you have to do so for example, you have using the API, so things like appending to response, IDs, finding data. So how do you find data? You can click here and then you can see they are giving you a number of endpoints that you can use the slash search. You can use discover or you can use find. Okay. But what I want to show you is um, if you go to API reference here and currently we are on V3 of the API. Um, I don't know, so V4 isn't stable yet. As you can see, V3 is stable, so that's what we're using. And you can go to API reference. And once you come here, you have a lot to go through. Okay, there's a lot to go through. And if you've never used um, an API before, you don't know what a REST API before, don't worry, I'll go through that shortly. But I just want to show you like what we'll be doing. Okay, just to give you a heads up so for example we need the movies um categories so like trending and all of those things so i'm just going to go through this part and see if i can find it so you can see movies list here okay we have now playing popular top rated and upcoming okay and you can see these are all get 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 so i'll talk about what these gets are so for example, if I say I want the now play movies or let's say popular movies, then you would notice I am giving this. So under popular, I have this get and you have this HTTPS API dot the movie DB dot org slash three. So for the version three that we're using movie slash popular. Okay. Because we are looking for popular movies. Now this is the endpoint that we need. So. Um, if I can simplify this, the endpoint is essentially the link you are trying to connect to, to get a particular data. Um, that's the simplest definition I can give for now, but let's move on. And these are sample requests based on the various languages that are out there. So if you are a node based person and you click here, it actually shows you how you can make that request. Okay. So Python is quite similar to that. So if I click here, not in, in this, in the sense of the request. Okay. So we'll be using this specific URL. Okay. And in addition to that, we would need to specify our authorization key. So that is either your API key or your bearer token or access token. 
which I showed you here. One of these, you can use one of these. Now, one thing I must say is um, sometimes this fails. So you can see it is using the access token. Okay, so if I say try, so I want to try, hope it works this time. Let's see, yeah, it did work. So if you look closely, um, I don't know why this is bright, it's hurting my eyes. Um, when we make this request to this endpoint, so this link and our authorization, everything is fine. This is the response we get back. Okay, so you can see um, if you know a bit of that, or by now you should, you have this, this signifies a map and this map returns some keys and a value. So, and it returns this key called result and this result returns a list of maps. Okay. And if you look at this single map here, um, this is a popular movie. Okay. Sorry about the screen being white. I really don't like light themes. I don't know why this is light all of a sudden, but yeah. So as you can see, this is a response we get, okay, for hitting the popular endpoint. Okay, more on this later, but you can also change your access token. So if I say the API key, so remember the API key there, and you can try it. So this is what I was saying. So sometimes you can use the API key and it tells you it's invalid, and you can use the bearer token and also tells you it's invalid. Now, if you have a case like that, what you can do is you can copy this endpoint. So what you can do is you can copy this and then go to your browser and paste this in. Don't hit enter yet. Now you can go back and then copy your API key. So you can copy from here or from here. And then you want to append this with a question mark and you would say API underscore key is equal to, and then you paste your API key. When you hit enter, this will make that same request. And one thing I want to mention is you, you'd notice there was, a, um, you saw a lot of a bunch of um, results before it got formatted this way. This is because I'm using an extension. And if I can remember the name, um, JSON viewer pro. So if you're on, Chrome, you can just check down the Chrome store and install it. So let's see what happens if I disable this. So let me to open it. Um, how do I disable this? So let's say when I click on the extension and let's say let's reload. So without a JSON viewer, this is the results we are going to get. It's going to be all jammed up like this and you can't really make sense out of this. So let me go back and enable it. So let's say here and access on all sites and then let's reload. And this format sets in a more readable form. So as I was saying, the result for hitting the endpoint popular returns a map. Okay. And in the map, we have our first key, which we can access being the page number. And then we have results, 20 items. Now, this is the main thing we need because each result here returns a map which represents a single movie so you can see this is the guardians of the galaxy volume 3 you can get the overview here you can get the picture the release date and things like that okay i hope this part makes sense more on this when we start using this but i just want to take some time to explain the entire um, api rest concept so that you have an idea all right so when we talk about REST API is essentially stands for Representational State Transfer API. Okay, so that's where they coin the REST from. And for an API to be considered um, RESTful, as they say, um, there are some conditions it has to meet. But I'm not going going to go into that. Um, I'll leave a link in the description. You can look up that for yourself. But essentially, what happens is when you, the user, or a device makes a request okay so so when you the client or the user or any device makes a request over the internet and you keep hearing me say request so um you can make a get request which means so when you tell somebody to get you something essentially you're asking for something so get me something so 
the request we made earlier to the popular was a get request because we are asking to get us the popular movies okay and you can also make a post request and a post request is basically you are sending data you're not requesting but you are sending so let's say you have like a blog or something and you want to send a message over you're making a post into your database okay so that's later but we are focusing on get here so when you make a get request to some website or web server so for example this is we have like https example.com so just like the tmdb.com okay so the web service that is there is going to provide us with some endpoints okay we are going to be provided with some endpoints and an endpoint is essentially the how do i put it a, a link you can access data from like i said so think about the popular movies okay we wanted popular so we had the tmdv movie slash v3 slash movies slash um popular i hope i was right now if we wanted trending we just have to swap the trending for what po um, sorry the popular for trending okay it's the same idea so whatever this is going to give me so let's say endpoint one is going to return me the name and email of a user, then that is what I'm going to get. Let's say we're hitting this endpoint and maybe this is going to return me, uh, let's say the, um, the work of the person and the phone number, then that is what I'm going to get. So depending on the API you're working on, you need to know the various endpoints that are there. Some APIs have one endpoint that give you everything. Other APIs separate them. So you need to know the endpoint you have to hit so when we hit this endpoint say this is going to return a user's name and email or something then the web service which is basically a server somewhere another person's computer certain somewhere is going to give us a response usually in the form of JSON data and if you don't know what JSON is it's basically JavaScript object notation and uh, this is something you can look up and you would understand it's, it's not a big deal so you the client would get this back so assuming your authentication is good everything is okay you are going to get the data back in a form of json another format that I, I don't know if it's still being used is xml extensible markup language is rarely used now mostly everybody uses json so when you get this json data back it could look like anything so you saw what I showed you earlier but this is just an example so this is just a map that returns the name okay and then the then the name key and then the actual name of the person and then the email key and then the actual email of the person so this, this is essentially how the whole um, get request thing kind of works when you are dealing with APIs Okay. so anytime you are making a request to an API just keep in mind that just keep in mind and um, when you are making that request to a particular endpoint okay so be this endpoint so this endpoint could be anything it could be to give you like a post like I said earlier so maybe post slash one so the first post if your authentication everything is right this is going to return you that post okay so that post is going to be post one whatever post that is in and depending on the specific um, format that you are going to present a post one so some apis like you saw earlier could be a lot more complex than this i have provided over here so you can have ones that come with a map which has some data and then you get to a point where you will have like let's say posts and this posts is going to be a list okay of posts so you are going to have inside another map and then you will have like post id and then so on and so forth in that order so it's always good to look at the documentation to know the structure of the api you are going to get back so that you know what and how you would work with okay um i hope this is okay but as time goes on we'll go further as we start coding so i'll see you in the next part where we actually try to start implementing the api from tmdb.org see you in the next video bye